So it is the second day of Kasatu's 14th National Congress at the Gallagher Convention Centre in Midrand. And once again, delegates refused to let ANC National Chairperson Gwede Mantasha deliver the governing party's message of support. So Mantasha then left the Congress after speaking to the media and some of the top leadership. And he told the media that the alliance, which of course includes the ANC, the SACP and Kasatu, is weak at the moment. Our reporter Sleen Dela Masakana is covering the story for us. She joins us now. So Sleen, still Gwede Mantasha denied an audience two days in a row and he's now given up. Um, talk to us about how that played out, uh, that he was once more not allowed to speak and what he said about it. I mean, we all came here to the Congress on day two with the question um, as to whether will Mr. Mantashe be able to take to the podium and give the ANC's message of support. Um, he arrived at around 9 a.m. this morning with the, the delegation uh, from the ANC. Um, I tried to engage him to get a sense as to um, will, does he know if he'll be speaking? And he said at this point he just wants to um, wait for the leadership to give him an indication. We spoke to the Kasatu spokesperson, Sizwe Pamela, who at that point said that they were also still waiting for an indication uh, from delegates uh, as to how they're feeling this morning. And it seems as though uh, they had not budged, they had moved and uh, insisted that they just did not want to hear anything uh, from Mr. Mantashe as well as his message of support. And so uh, just before lunchtime then, Mr. Mantashe uh, called a media briefing to announce that uh, he was leaving the Congress and not returning. Uh, um, for the duration um, of the week. Let's take a listen. The alliance is weak. It has broken a great deal. We'll have to go get together and try to rebuild it. You know, the alliance is, a, is an alliance of three equal partners. Okay. Three equal partners with an equal responsibility. Okay. The NC was given a responsibility to lead the alliance which is uh, challenged in the document called Reef Configuration of the Alliance. It's an issue that is under discussion. It's one of the central points of whether the NC is a leader or is the alliance a center of power. That is the issue that is discussed. So that's why. Let's have that discussion. All right, so, so, so getting a message across that he's concerned about the strength of the alliance. He wasn't allowed to speak, but the SACP Soli Mapaile was quite a good reception. Um, so talk to us about how he was received um, and, and anything more on the alliance. You know, yesterday, it's so interesting, Gwede Mantash is saying that the rejection of him was not about the alliance. It's not, he, he really has tried to play it down, hasn't he? He has, uh, but I think if you look at the reception that Solima Bailo received today, completely different picture. There was applause. Um, he was, uh, you know, people were just excited to see him, excited to hear from him. Uh, we know, of course, uh, that the theme for uh, the Congress is around building unity around social socialism uh, for the working class. And uh, it seemed as though that delegates were way more excited to hear from Solima Bailo and his message from the SACP who um, indicated that the party was in fact ready to contest elections if the workers were ready. Um, this obviously prompted a response from Mantashe during that media briefing where he says it seems as though the SACP decided to uh, deliver divorce papers uh, in public. So let's just take a listen to that initial um, address from Mabaila as well as Mantashe's response. To say the SACP is ready, this is very important, is the SACP is ready, full stop. Take it there. Okay. Any other thing, it's a matter of engagement. The Congress of the party was clear about this matter. We have raised issues that we must still discuss with our alliance partners. Because we are not sectarian or isolationist. We work within a revolutionary movement. And therefore, the agenda for, revolution, for the revolutionary movement remains the most valid agenda if properly implemented in our country. We have laid out an engagement process. That is why our Congress has given us until December to come out clear on the next course of action we will take. So don't ever say the SACP is not ready. That is incorrect. The SACP is ready. 
The issue is, in its readiness, is the working class ready? Except the fact that delegates of the conference didn't want us to talk to them. Just, we must just humbly accept that, hear their complaints, take them back and report to them. Uh, it's not the end of the road. Uh, I also took note of the issues that were raised by the Communist Party and were whispering there and said, why does the party uh, serve divorce papers in public? They must send the divorce papers to us, we read them so we can respond to them. That's it. But fine, I wish the Congress success. Actually, even if good I must address the Congress tomorrow. I will not be here tomorrow. Okay. I was here yesterday. I was here today. I've not been given a platform. I won't grab it. All right, so he's been denied that platform at the Kasatu Congress. And of course, he is the ANC chairman. And at the very same time, I mean, it's very interesting, you, and you got a comment uh, from Gwede Mantashe. Overnight, uh, Jacob Zuma released a letter via his daughter's uh, Twitter handle, basically saying that he endorses Ngoza Zana Dlamini Zuma, who of course is his ex-wife, to stand for a president uh, position, to, to, to contest the presidency of the ANC. Interestingly, of course, the ANC itself in KwaZulu-Natal has not nominated her, opting for Zweli Mkize. But the president, the former president, uh, Jacob Zuma, saying that he would absolutely avail himself for uh, chairmanship of the ANC if he were nominated. Um, what did Gwede Mantasha have to say about that? So we engaged him um, as the media on his way out, of course, because this was an interesting development ahead of that briefing by the PEC in KwaZulu-Natal. And of course, the social media speculation rife around why uh, the former president would drop that media release uh, just hours before that uh, press briefing was scheduled to take place. Was he trying to influence the outcome? Was he trying to put them under pressure? These were all questions um, that were flying around in terms of um, why in particular at that moment overnight um, that uh, the former president would then uh, drop this statement and of course we posed it to uh, Mandashe that uh, it seems the former, pre former president is ready to contest him um, in his position. Um, uh, he found it quite funny making reference to um, how old the former president is. Um, let's just take a listen to that response. No, no, listen. Uh, Jay Z was my president for 10 years I was in secretary for 10 years. Uh, I take that as the biggest joke of the year, actually. You see, if the JZ at 81 wants to contest chairperson of the NC, I take it as a joke, but I, I take it in a light note. I accept it. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be taking it seriously at all. Of course, anything is possible, uh, as we know, in politics. Uh, talk to me about what next for the Kosatu con uh, conference now, because um, the ANC is saying the alliance is weak. Uh, the tripartite alliance is just one aspect, I would imagine, of what Kosatu is discussing. What's still on the agenda? Well, Ninge and Abambi will show you that behind me, we of course still have the program ongoing here at Gallagher Estate. Um, Sally, I mean, the exit of Mr. Mantashe did not um, in any way affect uh, what was expected to take place and happen uh, right now or, or today. Um, so there have been more messages of support, uh, but also we're getting to the nitty gritty in terms of what the Congress is actually about, which is of course speaking about their organizational issues, uh, reports being um, tabled, the financial report right now is what's being spoken about. The organizational report was just tabled moments ago, and of course the political report um, earlier on this morning. Tomorrow, Sally, we are expecting voting to be taking place in terms of those who are nominated uh, to take over um, the, lead, the current leadership. And of course we know that the current president, that is Zingi Swalosi, is um, going into those elections uncontested. Earlier on we had a briefing from the IEC just you know, telling delegates exactly how that process is going to unfold. And we're expecting that process to begin at around 10 a.m. tomorrow morning.